Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and it looks like Age of Sigmar is getting a facelift. And I'm not just talking about the new edition. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. The new Warhammer Age of Sigmar app is coming soon. Here's what to expect. So with the launch of 10th edition, Games Workshop gave us a new Warhammer 40k app, and now they're doing the same thing for Age of Sigmar. And if it's anything like what we got for Warhammer 40,000, this is going to be awesome and a massive improvement. With the new edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar on the way, it's time to unveil the details of the Warhammer Age of Sigmar, the app. Arriving shortly after the launch of the new edition, the app is designed to help you quickly create army lists and make it easier than ever to look up rules you need while playing. Alright, so here we have a little preview of what it's going to look like, and we can see here essentially a picture of the model, your base stats, and then you have like your weapons, abilities, unit details, and keywords. So pretty basic, pretty cool. If you're not really familiar with Warhammer and how things work, Games Workshop does regularly make changes to the actual like printed rules, which I know some people complain about, but in order to maintain balance in the game, this is necessary because no matter how much they play test, how much they try to plan for what's going to happen once they unleash new rules on the community, it's impossible for them to get everything right. So when the actual codex, or in this case, Battle Tome comes out, Games Workshop releases your actual rules, your points, everything in the printed copy, and then you also get a code for the app as well. So the code is included in the back of the book. You punch it into the Warhammer app and it gives you full access to the instantly updated rules. So this is super nice for anybody that's playing because it makes sure that you always have the most up-to-date rules, points, etc. And while there's definitely some validity in complaints about your books being almost immediately invalidated when Games Workshop makes changes, in the past, in some of the earlier editions of the game, we would literally go years without like new reference material, game balance, or points changes coming out. And after experiencing both that and the new version, I much prefer them updating everything on like that three month time frame. Once a quarter is enough that it sees what happens in the actual community, what armies are doing well, gives Games Workshop a way to kind of tweak those armies, bring the weak ones up in power or the strong ones down in power, fix individual units or stat lines, correct mistakes, and just overall, it's much better for the game and creates a much better play experience. And with the app, it allows you to consolidate all those changes in one place so you don't have a bunch of like printed off documents. You don't need to carry a million books with you when you go to play your games. And because it's included for free with the Battle Tome, there's no extra like expense technically. The rules reference section covers everything you need to play. Core rules, advanced rules, all of the free faction packs with battle traits, battle formations, heroic traits, artifacts, spells, prayers and manifestation lores, and war scrolls. The app also contains each faction spearhead rules and the spearhead fire and jade battle pack, though you still need the board cards and the terrain to play, and of course models as well. It also includes all the legends rules, the war scrolls for Warkai and Warhammer Underworlds miniatures, supported in Warhammer Age of Sigmar Regiments of Renown and rules for armies of renown like those found in the Dawnbringer series. When the General's Handbook 2024-25 is released, all the rules content will also be available for free in the app, including season rules and battle plans, so you'll be able to hit the ground running with the new edition. When a new battle tome launches for your army, you'll be able to input a unique code printed in the book to unlock this content inside the app, and instantly be able to access any new rules from the battle tome at a touch. All right, so here we see basically like your unit, your points. We see all of the like various factions you can choose between, including armies of renown. It also like gives you little keys so you have an idea what is viable in competitive play and what is more for like just fun play. And overall, I do like this. While I prefer to have the actual cards myself, just because it's nice to have them and physically have something you can look at, use during the game, etc. This basically turns your phone into all the cards, all the rule books, everything you possibly need. If you prefer a larger screen, you can obviously do it on something like an iPad as well. So this just opens up the actual game and creates a useful assistant that you can always have with you along the way, keeps everything up to date, and just overall is great improvement. And while in the past we saw some issues with some of the Games Workshop previous apps, after basically a year with the 40k app and people using it on the regular, I have to say it works extremely well. It's a really nice tool. And because it doesn't actually cost anything, all the codexes or battle tomes that you buy, you're going to get full access to all those rules as well, whether it's just one or two of the factions that you regularly play or whether you like to collect them all. So really nice setup right here, massive facelift for the game. And if it's anything like what we saw improvement wise for Warhammer 40k app, this should definitely get you excited. 
Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. Changes to army composition in the new edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar are supported by the updated Stormforge Army Planner. Selecting a hero for a regiment will give you a pre-filtered list of eligible units to add, so you won't need to cross-reference other information and all the regiments of renown can be added with a single click. No need to memorize them all. So it says we can download this from July 15th. So with the launch of Age of Sigmar, the app will be out immediately as well. So that is definitely nice to know. Right out of the gate, you'll be able to use this, get comfortable with it. And this is gonna save a ton of time and effort. It's also really nice for people that just like to go through, experiment or plan out lists. And with the excitement building in the Warhammer Age of Sigmar community for the launch of fourth edition, Spearhead, and then also Big Sig, I know this is going to be an instant success. But as always with Games Workshop, I'm sure it won't come without its issues. There'll probably be a little bit of a rocky start just based on what we've seen in the past from Games Workshop, but they're usually pretty good about sorting them out. The app will launch on the 15th of July just after the in-store release of Skaven Tide, and it'll be free for a few weeks to give you a chance to get grips with the new Warhammer Age of Sigmar rule set. After that, some features will continue to be available for free, such as being able to create one army list, while unlimited army building becomes part of the Warhammer Plus subscription. The armies that you have built during the free period will remain available. You'll be able to download the app on the 15th of July for the App Store and Google Play. Check back then for more details. Note the older version, third edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar app will still be available and you'll have access to redeem content, but it will no longer be updated. Okay, so a couple of interesting notes there. So you'll still have access to all of your third edition stuff, but no future updates, which makes sense because we're moving on to fourth edition. But it's not like all your codex codes and all of your like additional unlocks just go away. And they are giving a initial free launch period where you have like unlimited access to like army building and stuff. But after that, some of the features will be free still, such as being able to create one army list. So you'll be able to create one army list for free, but unlimited army building becomes part of Warhammer Plus subscription. So that is definitely a net negative. The fact of the matter is that a lot of people don't have Warhammer Plus subscriptions. Most people I found that have tried out Warhammer Plus didn't keep their subscription after like the first year or if they were going month to month after a couple of months. But now you're going to have to buy either your Codex or Battle Tome to unlock your specific armies. And then you're going to have to purchase a Warhammer Plus subscription to maintain access to the app to use your already purchased content. That's pretty grimy, honestly. If anything, I think what Games Workshop should have done is if they're going to put the codes in the back of the battle tomes, that should give you permanent access to the app for like building armies for that faction. And then alternatively, they should give you access to everything if you buy a Warhammer Plus subscription. That way you're not punished for not having a Warhammer Plus subscription and you still gain the benefits of buying your like codex or battle tome. But then you're incentivized to always have a Warhammer Plus subscription because that would give you access to all of the different factions. This way sort of feels like a scammy way to get people to have to pay on a month-to-month -month basis just to use the stuff that they've already paid for if they want to benefit from the app. So we'll have to see when this comes out exactly what's behind like the Warhammer Plus subscription paywall. Obviously, there's only just a couple of like throwaway sentences here. But the idea of Games Workshop selling us products at like extremely high prices only to then require a Warhammer Plus subscription to get the full benefits of it is definitely a dirty move. So while this is overall like pretty cool and I like the idea of them kind of combining the digital and physical content, locking the apps and the main benefits behind like a monthly paywall is super scummy, but seems right in line with what Games Workshop has been after. If there's one thing I've noticed over the last couple years, it's that they are going out of their way to try to get us to spend a ton of money on models, books, and then also pay a monthly subscription. So let me know what you think about these changes, about these improvements, about this monthly tax. I always like to hear back from you guys in the comments and definitely appreciate all the feedback. As always, special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the channel. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man, and that is a dirty trick by Games Workshop. And I'm out of here.